Hello everyone, this is Luis Rodriguez from 3 Digital Cooks and in this week's video I'm going to explain you how do I prepare my luggage to travel for our upcoming workshop in Germany. Oh, this mess around. One, two, three. 3, three Digital, Digital Cooks! Cooks! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> to travel with the printer I have this belly case to be able to move the printer around. Obviously it's missing all the foam because I'm going packing the printer now and it's rock it's rock solid and it's been great the only drawback is that I bought the smallest and cheapest one that I could and it's a little bit tight for the printer and definitely stickers everywhere that's how you make it look cooler so here we have Piña 3. The main things that I do to travel with it is first I remove the top. The second and important thing is taking care of the magnet links. What I'm going to be doing is like disassemble the carriages and obviously the bells too. Carriages are off and this is how the printer looks like now. The printer is a tight fit so you will see that because once I try to put the printer inside of the pelly case I cannot even use foam underneath. Yeah, that's something that next time I buy a box, I will definitely look for a bigger one. Actually, fun fact about this is that after buying the box, I had to change this piece just to be able to, to match this, this case feature. So this is how I fit it in. I have these uh, stickers with different voltage depending on the country that I am and I'm going. So before traveling I always forget to switch my power supply input voltage so I just add the sticker on top of the inlet for the power cable so this way once I arrive to the co to the country where I'm going I do not burn my power supply that is not a fun thing once the printer is secure I just keep adding layers of padding around it until the whole thing is surrounded by foam and this should be the last one, I guess. <laughs> and after this, uh, what I do is fit things inside and make sure those things inside are secure. More or less, this is all I want to stuff in. First, a layer of cartridges. After this, we're gonna add a layer of extruders all four and we use some and this is probably the most sensitive thing of all is all the ball joints especially the studs keep them safe after the big stuff let's go for the smaller ones first thing some nozzles and extruders tubing more experimental extruders, pop extruder, uh, nozzles and adapters, spacers, heated nozzles, cabling. Oh, the secret for digital cooks, my sieve. I have decided that sieves are for digital cooks like knives for cooks, like something that you always need to carry with you to make sure that you will get that perfect and a smooth consistency for extrusion printing. What else? Yeah, some uh, motor shafts, cables, the printer arms. I always carry this thing around. I have not tried it in a while, but I love it. So we'll see if we, we put it together. Cartridge holder, spatulas for my seat. And, and this thing to hold the shaft in place. Yeah, and that's how more or less I do the whole packing thing. I add some extra foam at the end and another thin piece of foam. And then just do some pressure here, lug it, that's it ready to roll. I used to I used to bother about using the, the locks, the locker, the TSA special one, but I've realized that nobody cares about those. Like, I think I had 
five different ones and all of them got broken so I just give up and that's it that's how I pack when I have to travel I hope you enjoyed you might have learned some tips really excited about this trip you will see a lot of new a lot of new videos related to it and let's hope everything goes fine see you next week bye subscribe share and thumbs up Come on, I'm out.